Hi everyone. <clears throat> First of all, I must apologize because of my voice is not very recently I I guess I I, I don't know uh, flu I don't know something is is, is like in my throat that's not in it's like make my voice be a little bit hard but I have some thoughts that he, I really would like to share so I think that that's a that's an opportunity so I like to record or I like to write when I my thoughts like he, uh, uh, when I have my thoughts in my head, like so if I do not do it, do it most likely I'm going to forget it. But that's not just me. There is a book called uh, I think it's like uh, the Magic of Big Think. I believe that's the book. I'm not sure, but they say how important it's for you to uh, record your your ideas. My case was always like that. If I do not record, I just like uh, my ideas just uh, somehow disappear. On this video, I'd like to talk to you about uh, a book that uh, I'm reading and uh, that book uh, really caught my attention. I mean, I have, this book is on my list for some month and finally I decided to uh, give attention to this book. So this book is called Noise from Daniel Kahneman. I love his work. I mean, this book is not just his book, so I'm sure to leave for you. Uh, the full authorship of the book because I think it's fair that you give me, uh, credit to everyone but he's the I guess his name is very big in the name the book because the guy is famous so uh, when you see his name you, you kind of uh, guess that's a good work uh, somehow his this book is a little bit like he uh, it's a little bit uh, similar not equal but similar to his previous works uh, Daniel Kahneman Briefly, he's a Nobel Prize psychologist, one of the only psychologists to win a Nobel Prize in economics because there is no Nobel Prize for psychology. So if you're a psychologist, a mathematician or so on, you have to give, uh, it was the case of John Ash as well, which he was a mathematician, he, he got the Nobel Prize in economics. But the point of this book is that uh, the book is divided into several parts. There's one part specifically that I'm reading, which I, I strongly suggest to you. There are two videos on the two videos on these channels, on this channel here, on two discussions that I would like to send it to. One discussion was on Professor Majo asking me on my talk to the Thousand Moon Science about uh, if a model make a mistake, who will be responsible? I think that's, a, that's an amazing question. The other one has to do, I brought more or less the same question to Alexei. Yeah, I'll make sure to actually for you the answer in the, the description of the video. But the point here is that he, Alexei said something that he really caught my attention. He said that he he would, he, he would trust much much more a model than a doctor, and he got he got a point. I mean, I said to him and I said as well to Professor Marge that he, I don't think that we have enough uh, serious discussion about that, and it's it, 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 quite interesting. It's on the book as well, the book of, of Daniel Kahneman. They say the same, that you don't have enough uh, serious discussion about that. I, did, I said it before I read the book. The point is that I see people doing models. I mean, a huge amount of models, very amazing models, but somehow they are not being used. I mean, that's one of the one of the ideas of when I say innovative biomathematics, I, I, in this channel, I mean that. I mean that innovative biomathematics is that you really use your models. What have been seen that people do the model, publish the paper, and the mod dies. In general, someone, someone else is not going to apply because most likely they cannot understand what the author did. Uh, there is a huge problem of uh, reproducibility on the mathematical community. I, I saw that on my, on my PhD. I, was, I had a huge difficulty to do to, to, for the paper. One of the papers that, that I use on my, my PhD thesis, I tried to replicate. I, more or less, I had success, more or less. The second paper I tried to replicate I couldn't replicate. So there is a huge problem there in science in general. I remember an event in Como Lake, Alexei was there as well, in which he, they discussed about this problem of reproducibility of the mathematical of the mathematical simulation, of the in situ simulation. But the point of this video is not to lose the focus because I want this to be to keep to be short, not to be very long, is that uh 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 Daniel Kahneman says something very interesting. Uh, 
it was based on, on fines, it's not simply like, that, like he took out of his head, like out of the blue. It's based on work that's already, I mean, scientific work already published. So essentially he found, somebody else found, but he brought in the book, that he, models can be better than uh, medical doctors. I mean, here I'm, I'm being specific about the biomedical so And there is a huge book, cite another book, which I, maybe I'll just show the script of the you remember to leave all this day for you in the script of the video, I'm going to leave that for you, but he cite another book. This book is a huge book that he cites a lot, that has, that has a huge amount of experiment, which include biomedical application, that they show uh, that model can be better than human. And the situation even worse, in my opinion. Simple models, like simple regression, can be better than human. Then, Daniel Kahneman, so far, he was talking about a lot, his book, Think Fast and Slow, he talked about a lot, a lot about bias, and having used this idea of bias to defend models. But now he, he brings another, another bomb to the, I like to call it bomb, because as he says on his talk, I'm going to leave for you in the description, people in general did not want to admit that there is noise on their, on their judgment. So they were, uh, and noise, as he says, is pretty hard to, to spot. Because, for example, he gave an example about the, about the court, a judgment court, that there is a variance of three years of judgment. If someone goes to jail, they may have a variance of three years. So you can stay three years more in jail than they're supposed to stay, because that is what he's called noise. But noise, people does not see, you just accept. For example, if a, if a medical doctor make, make a huge mistake, medical doctor make a lot of mistakes, there is a very nice episode of the healthcare, which is a podcast that I liked a lot. I, I wasn't able to find the, the episode, maybe I'll try to find again. It was like three years ago I saw this episode. So on this episode, they show that a huge amount of mistakes doctors make. But the point of, 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 the, of the Daniel Kahneman is that noise is one of the biggest reasons why humans make mistakes. And med medical doctor is not uh, different. So that one the reason why models can be... I just wrote an, I just wrote an e-book in Portuguese. Maybe I can write in English well in the future, another one. But uh, the book, talked, there is the final part that you talked about, is the, I'm trying to defend models. So, I didn't use the work of Daniel Kahneman, but maybe the future I use to for my writings. But the point is that uh, models has a strong point. If you use the work of Kahneman, the more, uh, Kahneman the, the, on the article, the third part or fourth part, I don't remember well, uh, he talks about models, really models. I'm not talking about like generic, he really talks about regression, he talks about artificial intelligence. I think I was very happy to see that. And he really makes the point based on the work of somebody else, based on his own experience, that model can be better than human. So in the case of Alexei, he said, I prefer to be judged by model than to be judged by human. So, and Alexei has a point. I think I, 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 I it makes me think. I mean, some stuff that you need somebody else to make you think. But the point is that, uh, uh, it's different that you say that I prefer a model, then you show the data. So. Uh, what Alex, what uh, uh, Daniel Kahneman is doing is that he's showing that there is reason, reasons, real reasons why you should trust the model. But he makes seven points in the book. For example, I already said that on a kind of talk uh, and so on because it's meaningless if you do not trust your model. Suppose your model gives the answer, you decide to interfere the, with the answer of your model, it can be a big problem. There is a move called Passengers, I would like to suggest, it's a futurist model, futurist move, in which uh, they say about, uh, the, there is a medical doctor diagnose machine, then the, 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 the doctors have to give the final opinion. I think that's the future, it's a matter of time. The pandemic of the COVID pandemic showed to us how, uh, how sometimes you can ignore technology. Sometimes you have technology, but you don't use it because Daniel Kahneman talks in his book on the part why you should not, why do not use model. Uh, one of the reasons he said I agree completely is that people are afraid. He gave an example of a coach, I think it was a, a sport coach, in which they tested these models, and they found that the coach was using uh, 
was using very very strange reason why he did not hire someone. He would not give a chance to a soccer player. Such as there is a case there that they showed that soccer the the coach said that the guy had a uh, ugly girlfriend. Like he had an ugly girlfriend who was like low self esteem. So most likely he would not succeed. Which is total of the blue. I mean, what does that have to do on team? Maybe it has, but we don't know. The point is that uh, models, as Alex says, I think it's very interesting that the model can learn from the mistake of all the, all the doctor because model can integrate several databases. So imagine every mistake a model do here, he can easily uh, set uh, pass this information to another model. Or if a medical doctor make a mistake in China, we can easily make test the model in a in second. A doctor can take like a huge amount of time to learn. There is a pride. He can be very proud because learning from a doctor, very competitive. So all this does not exist in model. Here I'm not saying that the medical doctor is useless. It's not. I'm just saying that some stuff maybe should leave the models do it. Because uh, Daniel Kahneman he gave two reasons so far why you should trust model. One is bias. In his first, in, on his first book, uh, Thinking Fast and Low. He talks about how bias can destroy our judgment. It's not the only one. There are several book about that. On the second one, he talks about noise. So now we have two reasons. You have two well, uh, two well, uh, what do I say? Uh, well, well, well based reason why you should trust more. So more is not just more just a toy. The pandemic showed how important to how 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 can we. The pandemic show how, how we can ignore, how we can be so blind to technology sometimes, okay? Uh, as I was seeing uh, yesterday a talk, uh, a TED talk in Portuguese, so I'm not sure you, uh, you understand. He, the, the speaker made a point. I mean, we, we, I mean, I made a point because I, I, I also think this way. Uh, we had had technology for years. I, I, I myself, I, I, I work in, at home for since I, I can remember, I, I hate to go to office because I waste time in traffic, to waste time moving. Uh, and I did a master of science, I did a graduation, I did a PhD, always work from home. Of course, some work you have to go. But my point is that sometimes you can be very blind to technology. I mean, we, uh, in the model can be one example. I agree that you still have a lot to go, uh, to go. Uh, to go with model, but uh, the point is that model can learn, you can go together. I mean, you can go together with model. Model make mistake, you teach the model. Google is one example, Google Translator. Google Translator was horrible, uh, terrible, something like two years, three years ago. But now see how what Google Translator can do. It's amazing how, what they can do. Uh, it seemed like yesterday, uh, voice recognition was very bad. Today, voice recognition, even voice and uh, replication now artificial intelligence that replicate the human voice is pretty good because somehow Google was able to convince people to accept this technology. Model, I think uh, that's one of, one of the reasons why I defend innovative biomechanics. So if you see one of my videos, I talk to you about why I think innovative biomechanics is so important because there is a loop which I put in the video for you that uh, the innovation is going to learn with the application. The application is going to learn if the innovation is called startup. Startup is a process that you are always interacting. You always like a cycle, like you interact with the. So startup is based on the mistake. So you learn if you are mistakes. So that's what the point why I think you should start using models. But that's a very tough decision. I don't know what's going to happen for for people to start to trust models. Uh, Daniel Kahneman says, says something very interesting because. Uh, why people do not, not to use mods so much when they start to use, they stop uh, using? Because as Kahneman sa said, if the mod make a single mistake, people are going to, to stop using the model. I don't know why that. Maybe it's a bias, the confirmation bias. You, you do not trust the model, then if the model make a mistake, you just stop using the model. That's not just for model. We do all the time, we do even if human. On the book, uh, on the book, uh, uh, the book about the ego. Ego is the enemy. I love this book. Uh, there is uh, one example of uh, there is one example of uh, of a uh, 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 I'm not sure if you're a soccer player, but he was a sport. He was a sport. No, he was a sport guy. Uh, that he was black, and he was able to go up and up and up on the on the scale of sport. But there is prejudice against people, color people, black and so on. 
And she knew that she could not get angry. Because the ego is the enemy of the holiday, a Ray holiday, I think. And he knew that he could not make a mistake. In the sense that he could not get angry. Because if he got angry one time, people will judge him much, much stronger. So as you can see, the fear that you have in, because you have two obstacles to use models. One is people accept. When they accept, they will be more very uh, tough. The other, the other one is simply science. Uh, science denial. People that deny science, science denier. Some people ask not to use this word because it's bad. But anyway, let's say uh, people that deny science or people that do not believe in science. I don't know. I don't know if you remember the right words to use, not to offend no, to offend people. But anyway, most of the people that do not believe in science, they ask science to be perfect. For example, they give the, the example of the egg. Some, some day the egg is good, some day the egg is bad. But that's how science works. Science works like if you give one step forward, one step backward. But in general, uh, science is a method. It's not it's a method. It's not like here. Uh, in this method, there's a book I'm reading as well about technology. And he said that the scientific method was the best thing that we, we ever created because it has an iterative way. So science makes a mistake. Uh, the, method, the scientific method tries to correct itself. So uh, when you start to use model, most likely it's going to be like Google Translator. You're going to make a mistake in the beginning, whereas you, you suck in the beginning. But uh, the process, you keep learning all the time. That's one of the reasons why you should start to use model even before the model is perfect. We have very good models, we have very, very bad models. For example, in my PhD, I work with a group. I worked with a group in, uh, in Rome. Well, and they, they, they were working for about 30 years. 30 years if you if make a mod for insulin. Not sure if they used those mods, but they had a huge amount of work. Papers, discussions, a lab, a huge amount of people. All of them working with the glucose. Uh, I myself did my model. My case was ghrelin. I tried to make the connection. Of course, those models are not perfect. Of course, those models make a mistake. But the point is, it should grow together. It even serves a kind of uh, a kind of encouragement because uh, there is a uh, there is a, a, a very nice Netflix a very nice Netflix series called the One Hundred Humans. Essentially, they make several they put one hundred human in a kind of clothes like a Big Brother Brazil, big, big Brother like a Big I would say Big Brother Brazil because Brazil have that but I know Big Big Brother was come from I think it was from England. But anyway, Big Brother, they put a huge amount of people inside the house, but in this case, for scientific purpose, they make several experiments. There's one experiment called my attention. They ask people to do something, like an art or whatever, you can do whatever they want, they have to go. One group, they, 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 one group, they, they destroy, they destroy the, the invention in front of the people. The second group, <laughs> It kind of fun. The second group, they don't do it. They found that the second group is much more happy. The, second, the group that do not see the, the invention being destroyed, they are much, they are much happy. They are happier by the end of the experiment than the other group. The reason is that, but maybe more or less, what uh, what's going to happen to, to science? I mean, maybe I'm not a psychologist, so I can, I'm, I'm talking about psychology, but I'm talking about how I, what I read. There is, a, there is another book as well, which I liked a lot, I like a lot, called Deep, uh, Deep Work. And uh, from a professor from MIT. And uh, the, there is a part that he talks about, he compares the computer science, because he's a computer scientist, I'm, I'm, I'm also a computer scientist. And the problems can be applied, I believe, to any, uh, any, no, any, any, any knowledge, uh, and knowledge, and when it talks with knowledge, because uh, when you are a carpenter, for example, a janitor, you can see your work, you can touch your work, you can see your work being done. For example, I was a janitor for years when I was like uh, young, before I, 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 I went to college, I was a janitor to get my money and so on. I remember how, 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 how like amazing and that I could see a gardener, I could like, I could see a, I could I could see a very bad guy, a horrible gardener, and then I would like spend days, one week, and the garden would be like amazing. So I could see the land, I could touch the thing, so I could see my work straight away. 
one week the result was there. Science doesn't work this way, computer program doesn't work this way. It takes years for us to see a work. For me, one of the st- most things that make me sad sometimes, as a researcher, that you we make a paper. But for example, a guy asking me, sometimes it happens, a guy t- asks me, ah, I read your paper, he sent me an email, I like your paper and so on, I want to know that, and I want to know this. That's priceless for us. When someone will see your work, someone get in touch with you, ask a question about your work. But they published the paper four years ago. I mean, what, three years ago. But the guy, three years later, they, 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 they found my paper. So that's priceless for us. Because in the case of the gardener, uh, we can see your work. We can touch your work. So on this book, Deep Work, he, he mentioned that. He mentioned the difference between uh, so he gives some tips how make your work more meaningful because we human like to see our work. Uh, in the case of the experiment of the one or one hundred humans, the um, uh, the person that didn't, didn't see the work being destroyed didn't have a psychological uh, a strong psychological uh, trap. So, so to to to, to certain extent that you you start to use the models. I think that's going to be a more that's going to be a more like ro- ro- strong encouragement to research because they're going to see the model be used. I think everyone to certain extent they want to work to help someone. One of the reasons why it's, I start I I start to study biomedical related problem when I was in my graduation I was on my, on my undergraduation in college I was working with few judges. So the fact that I could help babies neonatus, I could help you. Uh, babies, like even I knew that it could be a very weak possibility because I was doing a work, the work should be applied, should be accepted, could be become not a product, probably it was pretty low to become a product, but still, for me just the fact, uh, my second postdoc, just the fact that I was doing a kind of a possible platform, web platform in JavaScript that could help doctors, for me that was amazing. The fact I have this channel, the fact that my PhD thesis was like got a prize on a kind of uh, biomedical related competition, I mean, that's priceless. But the point is that uh, when you innovate bioinformatics the way I, I, I defend this channel, we are always in touch. So that is why I think that we should uh, uh, listen to Daniel Kahneman, listen to his book, listen to whatever you want to listen to, if you are a medical doctor, if you know someone, choose someone that you trust. I love Daniel Kahneman, his work, his talks, his discussions. Not because he's a Nobel Prize, I mean, if he, he, I think his, his idea is amazing. I would like it even if he didn't do one. So he, he's one of the persons I think deserve the Nobel Prize. He like very friendly. He knows how to talk to audience. But my point is, uh, the sooner we start to use this model, the sooner we start to, to try to trust, not to take not to not to use this kind of bias that I was mentioned before because if a model make a mistake just be strong with the model as I said it's not like specific on the model it's a human nature whenever you see someone that's different for us a girl for example when a uh, uh, when a woman make a mistake in the traffic you always say uh, something like it should be a woman like uh, at least in Portuguese they have like this kind of sense against uh, women in traffic because in our head Women does not drive better than us. So, men, men, men does, men does a huge amount of mistake. If you see how kind of all the accident that you have, have in traffic, most of them are men. Uh, women generally are more careful. If I like uh, when I was in Rio de Janeiro, I remember they were like uh, they were started to 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 to, to give uh, women chance to drive uh, the bus. I liked much more women. They were more like polite. They drive a little bit more careful, slowly. So I jo- enjoyed a lot of the trip when, uh, when a woman was driving the the bus. And I don't think that it makes like more dangerous or the opposite. They are more careful. There is a res- there is some research showing. Uh, it's uh, based on scientific research that the woman has a lower probability of being arrogant, or like make mistake because they want to keep their ego. They are more like humble. Of course, they have their own problem as women. For example, there is a research show about criticism that uh, men has more difficulty accepting criticism, like feedback. Women has a, uh, can accept much easier, but 
They can accept bad, very bad, bad comment, very bad criticism. Except so, there is work men has difficulty accepting, women has difficulty selecting. So that based on scientific research, I'm not saying something that I'm taking out of my hand. That's based on scientific research. The, the nice thing about science that you use statistics, you don't have to you eliminate any kind. That's one that I love the experiment psychology because you get out of your head. Like I think that, but show me the data. Daniel Kahneman, he's an experiment psychologist. I love this because his work is based on experiment. That's why he know he won the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize can be it just can give Nobel Prize to someone that did experiments. Uh, for example, the case of uh, me say why why Steve Hawking didn't win the Nobel Prize. He was he's so respected. He so that people like him a lot. It is simple. He's a theoretical physicist. He didn't do experiment. Einstein won the Nobel Prize for experiment as well. So. So Daniel Kahneman, I like maybe that's why I like him a lot. He's a, he's a very statistical guy, he's like experiment. Uh, so that's it, guys. I think I'll stop here. So my 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 this video became longer than I thought, but I'm not sure I maybe I'll keep it because I think the discussion was nice. I just like him start to record to share my thoughts. And uh, I think uh, I think to run a course specifically about the computer decision and to use this kind of discussion in my course you get another thought your feedback and the the point is that you should you should start trust model maybe you can start with a kind of uh, experiment a kind of uh, um i don't know control group but the point is that we uh, we should always trust model because model has the advantage that it, it does not like he it does not, uh, mod does not uh, make a kind of human bias. All the human bias, noise, and so on, that the, all the human bias that the human do, model does not do. So, of course, mod has problems, but the problem is different for human. So, my point is that you should work together, you should not work against each other. All the work, all the science, all the, all, all the paper published, as I said, I was looking for a group. The guy, the people who were working for 30 years. It's a lot of time, like in two decades, work with, with Mussolini. Why should not use that? I mean, imagine all the automation, artificial intelligence, there's artificial pancreas, artificial intelligence, and so on. So, mod is here. I believe somehow mod is here to stay. Just a matter of time. Maybe it's going to happen since like a pandemic. Uh, I mean, anyway, I'll leave more discussion for another video. There's a huge amount of reason why you should use models, but maybe not a real video. Maybe on my course that I plan to launch, we can discuss about all the um, other reasons why you should, we should use more. So, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for the attention. Hope that you start to use models.